you know, just when they thought it was okay to go and look on the internet and on YouTube and stuff like that and wonder, where did Gary go? And you thought I'd disappear for a while? Poof, I just come back like a plague. No idea. Don't even ask. <laughs> Gary, no, in a few minutes, roll the introduction. And greetings, everybody. What's going on? It's been a while. I've had internet connection problems, and it was just a whole bunch of other mess, but it's okay. Obviously, it's fixed. I am now back. Gary Norman, you know who I am. You know what I do. And today is Friday, August 15th. And why is that so important? Because I said so, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what? Let's just get past that. So, what's been really going on other than me working and working and sleep and working? That really sounds kind of dull. So, you know what? We're just going to go right along with it. Uh, I think I did some Gary's uh, Q&A. And there's actually been a couple of good uh, questions that's been asked of me. I think I'm going to go ask another one. So, here we go. Gary's few minutes. Roll that one. Yep, we're throwing in our glasses for this one. Um, I'm not going through the, the phone this time. This time, we're going to go through the actual paper. And the question asks, <clears throat> What are the do's and don'ts of dating? Must have grabbed the wrong question, but you know what? I'm still going to answer this one anyway. Act like I've been on so many. I mean... Seriously, I, I I really haven't. I'm not pretty enough. See, look look at this. It's just like, does this look like the face of a man that that people would just like say, oh, it just looks so romantic. I want to kiss him. Probably not after that statement, but you know what the hell? Fine, I'll indulge you and I'll answer that question. First thing you should never do on a date: never bring your family members on a first date. You're supposed to be knowing the person, not the person, their family, and everybody else. I've seen a lot of people done it. And mostly because, you know, they're afraid of what the guy's going to do. Because, you know, the guy or the girl for that matter. Because, let's face it, we've all watched the ID channel and seen the best and the worst of people. So, you know, things like that. Second, never ever ever under any circumstances talk about your previous relationships it just doesn't work out one that makes you th look like um, you're not over your last relationship and that's never a good thing that is the no-no of relationships or at least trying to make a new one okay third and, and this is probably the most important one for most people never if, if your mind is on the gutter Clean that gutter, folks, because you don't want that person thinking that you're just there to just want to get laid. You know, let's be honest. There have been moments in people that we're all guilty of it. Sometimes we just look at that person and we just go, God, it's just, just the legs and the, 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 the hair and the thighs and, and hopefully more of the, the guys looking at the girls like that. But it'd be weird. The girls looking to go, look at those thighs, that'd be awkward. Maybe in some other countries, maybe. Okay, anyway, fact of the matter is, you, you've got to show the respect 24-7, no matter what, in relationships, or even if you're trying to develop one. Because believe me, it's never a good thing to show that you're under impression that, you know, you're just going to do that for just one night only and then just totally cut them off at the, the knees. It's never good. Okay. You want to go on that first date and you want to make that impression that you like them? You make that impression and you make sure that you make sure that they are going to remember your name afterwards because that's always what the goal is. You want to make them forget if there was that guy named Chuck and then there was you, you want him to forget Chuck. I have no idea where the name Chuck came from. It just, this just a name I picked out. Okay, don't judge me. Simple fact of the matter is, 
you want the first date to be something to remember. You want it to be something that she or he is going to remember. And there are just a lot of things that you just don't do. So, one, never get your mind out of the gutter. Clean that damn gutter out. And those are the other two. And I totally just ran, rambled on that so much, I totally forgot what else the other ones were. But you heard it. Rewind it and just listen to it again. I think I answered the question, right? Okay, we're, we're, we're just going to go with that. I think I did. Enjoy your moments. They don't last forever. Of course, then if there's true love, that lasts forever. But that's rare these days. Always hold those old moments inside your heart. And make sure that you know that, you make sure you know that that person is going to hold you and their memories are in their hearts too. Because that's the goal of having a relationship. Being one. And I'm not talking sexually, even though that's fun too. That's totally my drain answer. Take that as you will. Yeah, you know, it's all these strange, odd questions, but for some reason I just like answering because it's fun to do. I like doing these videos. I enjoy doing these videos. And, um... You know, for some odd reason, this stuff just keeps pulling me back. I love doing it. Nothing greater in the world than to make these awesome little videos. Especially it's for you, the internet community, because you keep it going. Either that or you're extremely bored and I was the last resort. But you know what? I'm happy to be that last resort, so I'll take it. <sighs> what else can I possibly do to close this very thing out? Guess I'll give my final thoughts. Um, real quick, Gary Norm's Women Army will be back pretty soon. Yeah, I keep pushing it back because there's a lot of things that I'm doing outside the internet community and outside of, of work and doing things like that. So I'm pushing it back. The two-year anniversary episode will be coming up very soon. Two years. Two. It's very awesome. So be sure to tune in for that. Gary Norm's will be mad. It's now that I finally got everything up for that. Gary Knows Movie Madness will be back very soon as well. So, you know, suggest some movies or things like that, and I'll do them. Uh, Hollow Madness will be coming up in October. That's what I'm going to be excited of. It's more, that has been more like a traditional thing. So this will be the, I will have to say, the third annual this year. This will be the third annual Hollow Madness. So be sure to tune into that. Ah. <sighs> Haven't talked much about wrestling. WWE SummerSlam this Sunday. Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. You know, I, I just. Brockzilla, okay? Brockzilla. Just picture that in your head. I could make a joke, but I just said Brockzilla, and you've probably already made that joke anyway. But it will still be an intense match, so be sure to check out for that for all you wrestling fans out there. Make sure you love everybody and make sure you live a happy life because life is too short and nine times out of ten, you know, you're not promised tomorrow, so live it like it's your last. That doesn't mean, like, just go crazy and slap everybody you see. It doesn't work. Not that I would know. So, with that said, I'm going to close this out by saying this is Gary Norman signing off. You know who I am, you know what I do, and check you out next time. Make sure you add some questions. And I'll try to answer them as best way as I can, even if sometimes it kind of steers at other things. So check you out, guys. See ya.